Hello my Tropicans, welcome back to Tropical 5, I am Archer Fangs. So in the last part we finished the Pirate Queen, finally, finally the Pirate King. And now we're on the 10th mission, through the Looking Glass. The campaign, in fact, if you guys are wondering uh, the mission, no, the campaign mission. Which is through the Looking Glass. And our goal is to export tons of raw resources before you run out of time. And we want to play this on Isla Rojo now. I kind of like this island now because if you remember the first part of the campaign, the second island was Bao Bao. It was more like a desertish terrain. You know, dry soil and all that. And now we have this um, island which is a bit more greenery. Um, the soil is a bit more um, fertile and all that. So. Let's get this started. Through the looking glass. That's the tenth mission of the campaign. I do apologize for like making the last video the prince is safe, longer. And the crown has given me a second island. Furthermore, thanks to the pirate king. We have enough gold to make our move against Leon Kane. Professor Zweistein warns me we should be very careful not to make any drastic changes to the timeline. Otherwise, we will lose our best weapon. The knowledge of what is to come. I reassured him I am always careful. I have settled on a simple plan. We'll prevent Kaio du Fortuna and Bao Bao from gaining independence. The repercussions of this small change will be a serious hindrance to Leon's plans in the future. All right, so through the looking glass. Governor, I understand you bear a grudge against the governor of Cayo de Fortuna and Bao Bao. This calls for a little competition, my good fellow. I will suggest you draw the attention of His Majesty by governing your colony well. You will thus be able to carry favor in the court and deem your rival incompetent. One stone, two birds, you ruin his life and his reputation. But be beware if your rival gains independence, he will be out of your reach. So export a combined total of 100,000 resources. Reward when the mission. You have 10 years before the other colony becomes independent. So combined total of 100,000 resources, that means a mixture of resources. Doesn't really have to be one single resource. So that means we could do logs. So we're um, exporting some corns. That's, that's a raw resource. Um, so raw resource is all in this category right here. Plantation, ranch, mine, wharf. Logging camp, oil well, hydroponic farm, factory farm, automated mine, and oil refinery. Obviously, we won't be able to do the bottom one because we need to go go into the other eras. Well, core era. That's we're mainly we unlock all of them, except for the hydroponic farm. So, yeah. So let's see. All right, then. So we have that going. Let's see. So let's start by building some more plantations. So we're going to need to build the. Uh, we could do coffee right here. Greetings. Should we have a lot of money? I just noticed. Wow. We started with 40,000? What the heck? So we have that. And we're also going to need to build another ranch of coffee. Let's do. Can we do cocoa? Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to do cocoa right now, though. Cotton. I could do cotton.
I could do cotton, but I'm not sure how that will work. Actually, I'm not gonna do cotton, I'm gonna do ranch instead. Cattle, milk, milk, and meat. We have that goats, llamas, pigs. Everything is horrible. Everything is horrible except for over here. So, we're gonna extend this road like this way. Let's just make it super long. That's gonna be that's gonna be like our main street. Um, I assume so. Hopefully not. Kind of looks like it, but I don't think so. And we're gonna look for another plantation area over here. Pineapples. That would be nice. We could do bananas. Oh, cocoa would be nice. Yeah, we're gonna do pineapples right here. And we're going to do cocoa right here. And we're gonna do a ranch of the a ranch of goats. Or cattle right here. Like that. What else can I do? Are there any more trees? Okay, let's get started. All right, so we have that. The severe undergarment shock. Build rent of llamas. Yeah, we could do that. Why not? We could do the cattle later on. Okay, let's fast forward. Alright, so. Like Great billion... jumping oh. llamas, Presidente. Uh, I mean, Governor. A shipment of gold has arrived. Nice. So you received ten thousand dollars. Oh, nice, nice. I'm gonna put like a road over here, going to the beach, to the shoreline. Like that, and I want to build another dock over here, like right here. And I'm gonna build another. I'm gonna look for fishes. Oh, shit, there's some fish right here in the area. Actually, you know what? This comes with this. And boom, right here. Like that. And we're gonna extend the road. What the heck, I'm selecting the road and I keep getting the library. Like that, and then we're gonna build a dock next to it. 
Then you go, that should be fine. We're gonna fast forward. Technological progress. All right, we have to build a library. Let's see, library, library. Where should I build that? Just build this right here. We have the coffee already, and we have the, uh, the other two ready to the pineapple, the cocoa. That should generate a lot of profit, cause those three, the coffee and cocoa and cotton, are like the best uh, way to make money. If you include cheese as well, that will also help a lot too. You know, adding the fourth C on the on the three CC method, the CCC method. All right, we got the mammals already going. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to let's get Monday, so I feel like this mission is going to be a piece of cake because. I'm already at 5,000 raw resources exported and it's a uh, 10,000, uh, 100,000 in total that I need to export. Let's fast forward again. I keep bringing it back to normal speed. I don't know why. Presidente. Have and three how docks. Slow these colonial ships are. Exporting goods will take forever. All right, yeah, three docks. I was thinking about that. Right now, having a third dock will be good. Let's do that. While we're at it, let's get some more. Actually, we're gonna wait a bit right now. I think we're gonna add a team store over here. But like having a team store right here would be nice. His Majesty's military. Camp. Export 3,000 wool. Yep, we have that. Okay, good.
Presidente, education is important. Well, look at me. Who knows where I would have ended up were I not kicked out, educated, at some of the most prestigious universities in the world. All right, so we're going to send him to the second school. I don't know what the school's called. Lumen. Great jumping llamas, Presidente. Uh, I mean, Governor. A shipment of gold. Has Another arrived. one? <laughs> Another one. So we, we already received two shipments of gold. So now we have the library already. So now we have five open jobs that should be good right now. Right now. I'm pretty sure once this dock is done, it's gonna, we're going to get 30. Um, immigrants. Let's do research. Let's start with the mines, farm, ranch, military for lumber mill, the productivity skills, and this is going right here. Alright, so we have that. Damn, we already had 20,000 raw resources exported. Yep, like I said, having two docks or more helps a lot with export. Or, I don't think I said that, but yeah, having two docks or having more docks is good. Because you can export things quicker. Think of it when you're in the line from like, a, let's say, movie theater or so. If there's only one, one staff member or an employee just um, giving out... Um, Selling tickets to the customers, and then that line's gonna be big, right? While as you have more staff members helping out that and one employee, then that other employee can take a couple of the customers from the line. Now what do you have here? I remember that time we really wanted to drain some brains here to Tropico. Have it five mansions? So sure, why not? So. Our research team. That is. And now we have mines going already. Governor, I have made gun. Initiate trade route. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's see. Let's do. I don't think we have cotton. We don't have logs either. We cannot do none of these. The only way we could do is corn. So. All right. So let's start the ranch. Of go of cattle right here. Um, we're going to let's do a roll around the, the place. I always want to do that. And then we want to build oh, up. There's a house right there. Damn it. Oh, we could demolish it. Why not? 30 citizens arrived in Tropico. No, that's not good. We're gonna go straight this way. And we're gonna build a number uh logging camp right here. His Royal Majesty. We want to demolish those houses. Great news. While well, plantations are locked, all right. And we're gonna activate these edicts. Oh, I cannot do that one, but this is what we're gonna do. We're going to build some houses. Something like here.
like that. And we're gonna build a few over here. Just for Like that, and we're going to build a grocery store. Right here. And we're going to build a Catholic mission. Right here. And what else do we need from them? I think that is it. Some entertainment area. That will be nice. Need to get some garden going. Let's see. Yo, tavern. We're gonna build a tavern right here. And we're gonna build another one. Like right here. And we're gonna make a garden right there. Let's get a large one. Put that one. We got the small one and we're gonna go over here. All right, so we have that going. So we have religion, taverns, entertainment, and then we have the grocery store going. So that should be good for now. Have that going. You're going to get this. Get the upgrades for that. That only works well with... We have more pineapples nearby. Holy dang, we're like 23 minutes in the video. So I'm going to call this in right here, guys. If you enjoy it, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you got any questions or suggestions, tips, leave in the comments below. And I am Archer Fangs. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the bell symbols so you can be notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.